So I just made my wrestling channel, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago in a post that moving forward, one of my greatest passions in life would be moved over off of a channel that has been literally financially supporting me. And I'm just blown away by the initial response on my channel. I mean, it's just incredible. And trust me, this is no flex. I know that people have done better than this. Good for them. It's not about them. It's about me kicking my own ass at something else here. Because this channel, I'm already at 140 subscribers. I was hoping by the time WWE 2K3 was going to hit, I was going to maybe be at 20 or 25 subscribers. Instead, a whopping 140. And the views that I've gotten so far... I mean, I know that people get this in five minutes on some big YouTube channels. Again, it's not about them. Like, just look at the views. And the reason I'm doing this, just to show you, like, my top ten list here. Actually, I only have, like, I think 18 videos. I don't remember. I don't have that many there. But just to kind of show you, like, will the New Zealand version let me play earlier? You know, 12,000 views. And you could see 400, 400, like in the 400s, 300, 300, close to 300, 250, 250, 240, 216. And you might be thinking to yourself, you know, like I'm crazy for thinking that that's special. But, and we won't do it. But if we look at my main channel, which gets me in the upwards of a quarter of a million views a month. I'm making over half a grand a month on my main channel. I'm not giving that thing up anytime soon. So you might be thinking to yourself, then why are you disappointed? Because my day-to-day -day videos are like a fraction of this. Are you kidding? I'm in the triple digits. I can, I can barely bust 50 views on a regular everyday video that I put out on my main channel of pushing 30,000 subscribers. I've only got 140 here and I'm getting better results. And I think this has to do with, I'm always talking about the same thing. It's all things wrestling, literally. That's the name of my channel. It might be the game. It might be, you know, the Ric Flair Dutch Mantel heat that was going on, right? could have to do with the actual shows or just some drama that happened 20 years ago or two weeks ago, but it still is within the realm of wrestling. You see, on my main channel, you don't know what you're going to get. I've been treating my channel, I've said this again, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'm treating my channel and have been since day one like I was already a big shot. Your Asmongolds, your Pootie Pies, even, I think. They all kind of started just talking about and doing the same thing. Boogie2988 was a little bit different. He was kind of always a little bit all over the place, I think. And then Rich from Review Tech USA, it's the same thing. They're so big, name-wise, subscriber count-wise, it doesn't matter what they do. They're pulling in the big juicy numbers. Me? It's dry. Like, my mashed potatoes ain't got no fucking gravy on them at all okay it's a dried up crusty fucking potato it's not even peeled and unfortunately that's the reality of this channel i still love it to death it's like my baby i'm nurturing it i'm still working on it but i am gonna scale it back like i said in my other video i am gonna tone down the patch notes and how many games i cover and reduce the frequency of random games that I play and try to focus it more on like my top five or ten you know that I like like your World of Warcrafts your simulator games and stuff like that I mean I'll still do that it's not me being complacent or lazy but I am gonna tune it back a little bit uh because listen I'm going on half a decade. This Halloween of 2023 will be half a decade. I have been grinding like a mad bitch on this channel. And it's just not cutting it. I am becoming very aggressive. I'm becoming very money hungry. I want the fuck off of my disability. Okay? 
Like, I'm done. I want to be able to call my worker and be like, yeah, so you know that YouTube I've been telling you about all these years? Yeah. Well, it's doing so good now. Thanks for the support all these years, because I truly do need it. But now I no longer do. I'm self-sufficient. I want to be able to do that. I want to believe that I have what it takes just enough to do that. Even if I just replace what I'm getting now, which, to be honest with you, it's fucking pathetic. Like what I get from the government. I mean, hey, as people would say, it's free money. Can you complain? Well, I didn't ask for the money. I didn't ask for it. Right? How this whole thing came about, I didn't even, like, want it. This is not the life I chose. But unfortunately, it's the cards I was dealt. It was a shitty poker card deck or a hand. Whatever. You know what I'm getting at. And I said, well, clearly poker ain't my game. I'm going to play me some blackjack because two of those cards in my poker hand were good. You see what I did there? And I switched the game. So now I'm going wrestling really, really hard. I'm off to a start which is much stronger, much, much, much stronger than what this channel has ever been. And hopefully, again, you're going to see some more consistency in the numbers especially from a subscriber to watch ratio. That's what I'm kind of hoping. I don't want to be PewDiePie. I don't want to be Asmongold. I want them to be who they are. I want to be me. Naturally, I want the bank account that they have, of course. But realistically, that's probably not going to happen. But, and I've been there for a while. I'm already halfway. And I've, but that's the problem is I, I've been plateaued for a long time i got monetized here within five months i was already pulling in i think my my first check i made was my weakest one it was about 350 bucks 350 380 and then within like a couple of months after that very quickly after uh by 2019 yeah after red dead redemption there um like wow it was just I was already making half a grand easy a month. Then I'd have some ups and downs and stuff like that, right? But it's been very consistent. I've never made under half a grand a month on this channel, which is why I still very much enjoy it. So if I can do that, what I'm already doing here, and I can do it here on my wrestling channel, I mean, call me cocky, call me conceited, but I'm convinced that if I give it everything I got... I can make it just enough to replicate the monthly income I'm getting from this channel. I slap them together. And to be honest with you, as sad as that is, as much as that's not that much money, it's nothing to brag about. That's pretty much all I'm getting from the government anyways, around that vicinity of number. You see what I'm saying? Like, wow. So the point of this video was just that, was just to share with you that I'm very, very happy with where this is going. And a quick reminder, a bit of a wink, wink, that if you do want to hear what I have to say about WW2K23, I'm going to have a link down below to my channel. I do not want a pity subscription. Honestly, I don't. I don't want people subscribing just because, oh, it's that guy and I like him, and but I'll never watch his stuff. That's what happens on this channel. I've said this before. 95, if not more, percent of the people that have subscribed to this channel, pushing 30,000 subscribers, has been as a thank you. Yo, bro, that 2K NBA video was off the hook. I liked and I subbed. But then they're never there to be seen again. I appreciate the subscription. Don't get me wrong. But it becomes dead weight if you're not going to watch my other stuff. Which I don't blame you if you don't, by the way. I totally get it. If I'm talking about golf, you subscribe to my channel because of my golf video. But then I'm just stuck talking about crocheting or some shit. What? What? Right? And that's what you're able to get away with when you're the big time. But unfortunately, I kind of never hit the big time. 
where you talk about one thing, you do a couple of things, and then you grow, and then you start to branch out and do other shit. I'm not going to do that with my wrestling channel. I'm going to branch out a lot within the wrestling channel. Recapping Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, talking about WWE 2K23, random feuds between two wrestlers. When one wrestler uh, gets injured or hasn't been around in 20 or 30 years and there's a rumor they might come back at a Royal Rumble or, or just anything or one of them had a kid or... Did you see what I'm saying? It still ties in with the wrestling business. Maybe I'll randomly throw in what I think of Chris Benoit. Ooh, taboo, right? That's going to be like my dramatic political kind of thing outlet all within the realm of wrestling. So if that interests you, only then would I recommend potentially subscribing, right? If you don't think, and it's okay, I'm totally not mad. If you don't think wrestling's, you're just, I'm done with this shit. Fuck wrestling. Fake ass shit. Who wants to watch sweaty, oily men throwing each other around and it's not your thing? Then great, then don't watch it. Because clearly, I'm having people here that are wanting to watch. They're wanting to do it. And I'm excited. I really feel like, uh, like I might be on to something. I probably should have done this almost five years ago, or actually... 17 plus years ago I should have done all of this 17 years ago but I didn't I didn't and that's probably one of my only regrets in life is I should have hit this bitch on the head from day one when this platform went live I should have capitalized on it but I'm gonna make up for it now so anyhow if you liked the video on this channel Go ahead, give it a thumbs up. I don't always make these rant videos, but I would like to be able to because I'm still going to use this channel as an outlet for me to express whatever is on my mind about most topics, predominantly gaming. I got rid of a lot of the nasty political stuff because I have a third channel that I'm working on uh, that has to just do with news, politics, and controversy. I'm going to save it for, for there. Here, it's just going to be like life stuff and video games. I want to keep it lighthearted here, right? Anyway, so yeah, thumbs up if you want, to, if you liked the video. Uh, thumbs down if you didn't like it. You know what's going to happen. We bend it in half, we twist it and break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, obviously you can go ahead and do that. It does usually help the channel with the algorithm. And uh, yeah, and if not, well, thanks for stopping by, anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.